Mario is Nintendo's biggest series in terms of video game revenue generation, which is why the Mario games that are released on every Nintendo console are of the utmost importance to their success, because Mario is Nintendo's mascot, and he covers a lot of bases for different video game genres. He obviously mainly stars in platformers, but there are also Mario Party games, Mario RPGs, racing games, but not only that, there are also many different Mario sub-series like Donkey Kong, Luigi's Mansion, Yoshi, Wario, and more. All of these series put together are under the Super Mario umbrella and is so important for Nintendo's success because those games generally sell very well because there's a large audience that's out there that wants them. And with a new year approaching where we don't have many Mario games announced for it, I think it's a good idea to look at what Mario games could potentially release on the Switch in 2020. In this video, I'm going to be analyzing release data from Mario games on the Switch in the past, as well as breaking down the genres of Mario games that are already plentiful on the Switch, and the ones that the Switch is relatively lacking in. And through that information, I'm going to try to determine some accurate predictions for what we could be getting next year. I also really encourage you to leave in the comment section down below what Mario games you think we're likely to get next year, as well as some that you generally just like to see. And with that all being said, let's get started. Before we get into what Mario games will exactly release on the Switch next year, I think it's good to determine a number of Mario games that we should expect to release. And in order to do that, we have to take a look at the past Mario games that have already released on the Nintendo Switch. It's good to examine this because it could put our expectations in check. If you think we're going to be getting 10 or 12 Mario games releasing next year, I don't think it's going to be very likely once you look at the data. 2017 had three Mario games released for it, being Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and Super Mario Odyssey. 2018 had four games released for it, being Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Mario Tennis Aces, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and Super Mario Party. And this year, we're getting five Mario games, being New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, Yoshi's Crafted World, Mario Maker 2, and as of the recording of this video, the still unreleased Luigi's Mansion 3 and Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. This means we've had an overall increase of one Mario game per year since the launch of the Switch, which means that we could theoretically expect around six releases for 2020, but I think it's important to take a look at exactly what those Mario games are before we can make that concrete statement. In terms of direct Mario game releases, I'm talking about games that star Mario, not the sub-series, there have been only two to three per year. And for the two years that have three direct Mario games released in it, one of them in both of the years was a Wii U port. Being in 2017 where we had a port of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and this year with New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe releasing. Meaning, so far with the release of the Nintendo Switch, there have been only two completely original titles starring Mario released per year. In total, out of the 12 Mario games that'll be on the Switch, four of them are Wii U ports. And because it's unlikely to have many more Mario games ported from the Wii U since the only main one left to do is 3D World, and who knows if that's actually going to happen, we may see a drop in Mario games releasing next year because there isn't that extra port there to take up space. Because of that, I think it'll be realistic to expect around two to three games directly starring Mario to be released next year with around two Mario sub-series games releasing as well. So with that being said, I'm going to provide five main predictions within this video, and I'll throw a couple of extras in the end and explain why they didn't make the main predictions list. Let's start out with my first prediction, which is a new Mario RPG. I figure now is the perfect time to touch on the news from a couple of weeks ago that Alpha Dream, the development company behind the Mario & Luigi series, has unfortunately gone bankrupt. And because of that, this will likely cause some complications for the next Mario RPG, because Nintendo has said through representatives in the past that Mario & Luigi is their mainline Mario RPG series now. Now, Nintendo has obviously always owned the rights to Mario & Luigi, so even though Alpha Dream has gone bankrupt, they could always just get a new development team to make a new Mario & Luigi title, but the question would be, how long in advance would they have done this? You'd think that if Nintendo wanted a Mario & Luigi game on the Switch, they would have asked Alpha Dream to start working on it a couple of years ago. But back then, they likely informed Nintendo about their financial issues, upon which Nintendo would have likely explored other options. Alpha Dream tried to stay afloat by remaking the most popular and arguably best game in the series being Bowser's Inside Story on the 3DS earlier this year, but diminishing sales led to the unfortunate bankruptcy of the company. Because the only Mario RPG on the Switch right now is the Rabbid crossover, I think Nintendo is probably really trying to get one of their established series in that vein on the Switch. 
And if Nintendo couldn't get Mario and Luigi, we could potentially see Paper Mario return to its RPG roots. And I think that could happen next year. Again, Nintendo's decision on this Mario RPG front was likely made a while ago and not upon the public announcement of the end of Alpha Dream. I'd find it extremely unlikely if we find out that Nintendo had no idea that Alpha Dream was going to be going bankrupt before they announced it to the public, meaning that we probably have had a Mario RPG plan to be in the works for a couple of years now. And whether it's Nintendo getting a new company to work on Mario and Luigi, or if it's them bringing back Paper Mario to its original style, I'd love to see a new Mario RPG come out on the Switch. My next prediction is a new 3D Mario game. I've talked about this possibility a lot on the channel, including making an in-depth video on the subject a couple of weeks ago, so I won't spend too much time on it here. But I do think that this is a big release that Nintendo could be planning for next year. There are many possibilities for what a new 3D Mario game could be, with the obvious one being an Odyssey 2, because the original Odyssey already sold so well on the Switch, so it seems like a no-brainer to make a sequel for it. But if Nintendo wants to change it up a little bit, we could potentially get a Galaxy 2, or a Sunshine 2, or even a brand new style of 3D Mario game. If Nintendo just wants to do the easiest possibility, we could just get a direct port of 3D World, which could be potentially hinted at by the inclusion of the 3D World game style in Mario Maker 2. And since they've ported nearly everything else from the Wii U to the Switch by now, I wouldn't be overly shocked by it. But I don't think this possibility has too much merit, and I think it is likely that Nintendo's big game for next year that we don't really know about yet is a new 3D Mario game. My next prediction is a new Mario sports game. I think that this has a good chance of happening, but I don't want to be too specific on this prediction because I think Nintendo could go many different directions with this. We got Mario Tennis in 2018 and we're getting Mario and Sonic this year, so it would make sense for them to follow along and put a new sports title out next year. Golf, baseball, and soccer are the main Mario sports series that they could pull from for a new title, but they could also go the Mario sports mix route, or they could even introduce a brand new sport to the Mario series like the highly requested football, for example. I'd personally love to see the Mario baseball series return again, because that's my favorite Mario sports series. I just love the large variety of characters and stadiums that you could play through, but I know that a return to the Mario Striker series would be great as well, and highly requested from fans. I think it's mainly because of the art direction and style of Mario Strikers that it has a large fan base, but the gameplay is also fun, like an arcade soccer type of gameplay, and I think it could work very well on the Switch. No matter what the sport is specifically, I think one is going to happen next year that we haven't seen yet, and I think a potential release time frame for this new sports title would be around the time that the sport starts getting played in the year with the major league around it. So with those three predictions out of the way, I've now gone over the three titles directly starring Mario that I think are going to release next year. A new RPG, a new 3D Mario, and a new Mario sports title. So my first non-direct Mario game prediction is a new Wario Land game. We got many of these games back in the Game Boy Color days, but lately we haven't seen much of it, with the last Wario Land game being Shake It releasing on the Wii in 2008, over 10 years ago. We got WarioWare Gold released on the 3DS not too long ago, but that's not the type of game I see as being a major release on the Switch and Wario Land would work a lot better. We already have a few 2D platformers from the main Mario series and some sub-series on the Switch, but Wario Land games are in a much more unique style, so I don't think you have to worry about burnout in that regard. The Wario Land games are a ton of fun, with the unique gameplay provided by Wario Land Shake It on the Wii, which could be carried over here with the use of the Joy-Cons in place of the Wii remotes if you want to incorporate motion control in that way. There are many different directions that Nintendo could take a Wario Land game on the Switch, but in any direction, as long as we get a new release, I think it would work out pretty well. Now my final prediction for a new Mario game to be released on the Switch next year is a new Donkey Kong game. While we did get the port of Tropical Freeze on the Switch in 2018, that game originally came out on the Wii U in 2014. And Donkey Kong Country fans are really eager to get their hands on an entirely new title. We're still unsure of the game that Retro Studios was developing before they took over Metroid Prime 4's development. And because they developed the masterpiece that is Tropical Freeze, Donkey Kong fans are really hoping that they were working on a new one. There could be some issues brought up with redundancy of two 2D Donkey Kong games on the Switch, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal considering that Nintendo did that this year with 2D Mario, with both new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe and Mario Maker 2 releasing just a few months apart. If they did want to combat the redundancy issue with two Donkey Kong games, they could make this new one a 3D Donkey Kong game, in the style of Donkey Kong 64, which could be very unique and interesting. Bring back everybody from the Kong family from Donkey Kong 64, I bet they would provide a lot of nostalgia, and if they clean it up a little bit, 
I think it could end up being a pretty fun experience. So with those five main predictions out of the way, I'm just going to go over a couple of other possibilities that I think are more unlikely that I didn't want to touch on in a full roll today. A new Mario Party is something that I could see happening, but I think Nintendo is more likely to do it in 2021. Super Mario Party released in 2018, and I thought because of the incredible lack of boards with there only being four of them that we were almost guaranteed some DLC down the line. But so far that hasn't happened, and considering how long we are away from the original release of Super Mario Party. I don't think we're going to be getting any DLC for it. This means that Nintendo is probably saving those resources for a new Mario Party game, but 2020 might be a little soon here. Super Mario Party is still selling well, they might want to ride the wave a little bit until things die down a lot, and at that time they could release a new Mario Party, hopefully with a lot more boards that people could play on. 4 is just way too little, especially when the original came out with 8. Another possibility that many people are thinking is a new Mario Kart game, but this is a mixed bag for me because I don't know if Nintendo just wants to ride the waves of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's sales, or make a new one for the Switch. There's many different directions that they could go with this, and with the recent release and success of Mario Kart Tour, I could see Nintendo going in a direction where they release a brand new main series installment next year capitalize on the success of that mobile game. But looking at it from another perspective, Nintendo could just do the exact same thing, promoting to people playing Mario Kart Tour to go and buy a Switch and buy the mainline Mario Kart game that's already released on the console. But those two possibilities, a new Mario Party game and a new Mario Kart, could potentially happen next year, but I don't think they're as likely as the five that I mentioned in the bulk of this video. Let me know what Mario games you think are likely to release in 2020, and check out my previous video where I go in depth on what I think the next 3D Mario game will be, and another video that I've made for what I think Nintendo's big holiday release in 2020 is going to be. Consider subscribing and ticking the bell icon if you're new to the channel and enjoy this type of content. With that all being said, I'll see you next time.